Oh my god. Okay. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and Comic Con has started! Yes, it's been the preview night, and let's just say everybody was just happy to get their badges! The first night, preview night for Comic Con, but we have a lot more coming to you because we will be coming to you from Comic Con. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you would think it was this morning from the news media is that the Republicans are on the wrong side of immigration. 59% of the Republicans support comprehensive immigration reform from the Senate. And then you read down further in the thing. Unless that they can get something better from the House of Representatives. That is in the very bottom. At the top they're telling you about all the things that they like about the Senate thing. And then at the bottom it says, along with the independents also, unless the House of Representatives comes up with stronger uh, with, with stronger border security and stronger verification of illegals being in this country. Everything had to do with what the House is talking about. But if, if you read the article, it looks like the whole country supports the Senate plan. No. They, they don't like the Senate plan, but they figure that they don't have any, they haven't got the House plan yet, so it, it's just very bad. So. And Justice Department tightens guidelines on reported data. Oh, yeah, isn't that something? Um, uh, I was watching last night, they were talking about, uh, watching the hearings, and they said, um, a guy, they, uh, they asked the, one of the advocates, he said, do you have any comprehension between right and wrong? And he said, well, I, he gives on explanation, he said, I ask you, do you have any comprehension of the difference between right and wrong? And he goes on again, and he said, I'm asking you, we're going to try it. one word, yes or no. Do you have any comprehension of right from wrong? And he said, yes. Then he said, then you know what you're doing is wrong, don't you? Because he said the Constitution of the United States has been violated by you and your people. You just admitted that you know that what you've done was wrong. He said, I did not say that. He said, oh, can you have, can the, can the uh, or whatever it is, read back what the gentleman just said. I know the difference, but, uh, yes, I know the difference between right and wrong. He said, you're telling me now that you lied to me. So if you're saying you lied to me, does that mean that everything else that you've been saying is a lie also? Oh my God. He, basically it's called semantics. You can get caught, you know, it's basically, uh, have you robbed a bank lately? It means that you have robbed a bank in the past. So. And just, um, California bids goodbye to fail the program to boost depressed areas. Because they don't work, because nobody wants to, okay. Nobody is working. If you're not working, putting things in depressed areas doesn't. Okay, grocery stores are folding. Um, uh, I think Maggie, even even Goodwill is finding people are not buying as much because they don't have any money. I mean, it's ridiculous. You look at the economy is booming today on the news. The retail sales are down, house sales are down, inflation is up, and twenty four thousand people less filed for unemployment because. Um, they fell off the rolls. Mm. But yep. it didn't lower the unemployment rate any, folks. And Virginia Appeals Court invalidates NLRB appointments. I love that. that uh, one day after the Republicans caved in to Obama on the appointments, the courts ruled that his, they basically, he's been hit by three of his friendly courts have said the Constitution is a Constitution. He said the President has a right to make recess appointments. They said if Congress is not in recess and holding meetings means you're not in recess, you can't make appointments. Mm -hmm. The Republicans won the battle and gave him the victory. And House votes to delay two requirements of the health care overhaul. Well, right now the President is basically condemning the Republicans. What happened was even Nancy Pelosi didn't bite for what happened yesterday. They wanted the Democrats on record, pure and simple, that it's all right to support big business, but the little guy gets the shaft. Uh, she let 44 members of the Democratic Party vote with the Republicans, which is a veto-proof. Obama said, well, if you pass this, I'm going to veto it. Well, they got one more vote than they needed to make certain he couldn't veto the legislation that says if you're going to give business, uh, if you're going to give business the delay, then little business should get it, and the next one that the individual should get it. And they said, well, the Senate's not going to take it up. Oh, good, then. They said, Harry Reid's going to be charged with supporting big business against the little guy. Mm -hmm. And Democrats don't want that to happen. They're going to let 
Obama swallow this one, I think. And Criminal Probe opened in Quebec oil train inferno. What happened was the brakes gave out. That happens on trains. No matter how well you do it, things don't work. I've seen, um, I, I basically, uh, okay, on the decks of air, on the decks of aircraft carriers which I fly on, they basically hold the planes onto the deck with, uh, with cabling. Every now and then, cables break and the plane goes sliding off the deck. That happens. They can't, nobody on earth can tell when something's got to fail. They can make an educated guess, like it says, well, these brakes should last for 100,000 miles. Well, that's because some do and some don't. This was a set of brakes that didn't. Mm -hmm. And House votes to delay two requirements of the health care overhaul. Oh, she likes that one. She said it twice again. That's how you know we're live. That's why, like, marriage fight moves from Supreme Court to states? In the states are losing. Okay, every time there is a vote of the people, gay marriage gets, gets banned, but they're now depending upon the courts to basically to remove, to basically negate the vote of the people. Well, they're saying, well, we wouldn't have the civil rights movement if it wasn't for the court system. Well, yeah. They, they was moving, it's just like slavery was on the way out when the Civil War started. The Civil Rights Movement was a movement that had already won its battle and they had to have the courts come in after the battle had been won. Mm. And basically the court is very good about coming in after the battle had been won. And Spitzer submits signatures to get on the New York City ballot. You know, people think that's just amazing. This guy, he's going to be the controller and Wiener is going to be the mayor of the city of New York because the Democrats run everything. He said the problem is, you know, you know what Herbie Daddy says? Democrats actually don't know the difference between right from wrong. They're, these two people, when they go back and win these positions, are then are going to be in line to run for the presidency in about eight years. Mm. And Rolling Stone defends a Boston bomb suspect cover. Or, they said they can't, I heard people last night, the Democrats are supporting it. And uh, people, everybody else is, is saying it, it was ridiculous. They said the public, uh, Rolling Stone is no longer surviving on subscription. It's surviving on sales. So what they're trying to do is things that are inflammatory to increase sales. But what, here's what the, the problem was. They didn't expect the liberal public, liberal cities to ban it. Mm -hmm. Because the Boston, which is very left wing, you can't find a place in Boston that will carry that thing because of all the people that you know, theoretically got killed. And they said that they, they ended up supporting, well, he was radicalized because of what was done to him by this country. Mm -hmm. He was invited in as a guest, but he didn't do anything to him. And Boehner backed the bill for immigrants brought as kids. Uh, I know, and they said that they, uh, they already know that Boehner is going to give Obama the key element of his immigration reform, which is the DREAM Act, which means all of these people Everyone that was brought into the country illegally as a child will be able to become it. All the people that went to college will get the, you know, the, anybody that wants to go to college will get it. And if you served in the military forces, which is what a lot of them do, you get it. So they figure he automatically, legal, but Baynard will support the legalization of nearly 50% of the people that are here illegally. So and, it gives Obama the victory. And Rolling Stone defends the Boston bomb yeah. suspect cover. Every day he said you said that one again. I know, because you know what? You have a terrorist on the... It's like... Well, they don't give a right. I don't right. understand that. They said they're also going to lose a lot of their sponsors are just up in arms. It, it's but, just like, to, well, to do that with... Ugh. They said, okay, they, they said, well, they were showing journalistic integrity. No, basically, if they'd have put... The, if they If they'd have ran... A picture of one of the victims, our first responder on the front. They originally were going to put a first responder, but figured they'd get more mileage out of that. And then put his picture on the inside of the cover, it would have been just as effective. But they thought we needed something to get people talking about us. But no one's going to buy the publication. Well, and part of it is it's like it just totally turns. Because uh, one of the experts like, said... You, if you don't want to feel like you're supporting them. Yeah, he said, though, he said, this is a typical Democratic... A member of the Democratic Party's maneuver is they always think of the short run. They don't think of tomorrow. Today is all that counts with them. Today they're in the news. Tomorrow they're a dead publication. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. I actually remember the one for today because Herbie Daddy told me. He said, getting old is a one-way trip.